And now, the Squadcast. Listen, it's a very special day for us here in downtown Albany. I'm sorry, Jimmy and Jordan, but we just got a delivery of Cookie Therapy Albany, some of the best cookies in the 518. And I just went to hand them off to Taylor because we're in the same building. And she told me to kick rocks because she didn't have her hair done and I was filming. So I gave Sam the first draft pick and he got the best cookies. And then I had my cookies and I felt so relaxed. I felt like I had cookie therapy that I had to shower, throw a face mask on in my robe and get ready for the squad cast. The only thing that's missing from my routine right now is a nice cold busy. There you go. I have a question. Yeah. What kind of cookies? Great question. You got to try them. It's called cookie therapy. Uh, it's all these. Oh, there cookies. we go. Jordan or Jimmy, I, I kid you not. This company is just sold out day after day after day yep. after day. They're the hottest thing on the streets, and they came through and gave us a box, and uh, I'm very thankful for it. It's my second, it's my second dose, and I'm excited about that. And you obviously got to wash it down with Busy. Taylor's right, number one drink. It's our drink of quarantine and the spring. Um, but guys, I have very important news, and I, it's why I brought this group together today because we have a task from our president, Gary Dake. Now we know uh, as of tomorrow in New York State, we have to start wearing masks when we're outside. See, I wore my mask for the show. The wrong type of mask, Taylor. Anyways, (laughs) our president has a contest going on with his company, Stortz. It's it's another side gig he runs um, with his employees and they have to make their own mask and they're, they're doing a contest. He said, he wants to do a contest with Two Buttons Deep, and he wants all of us to design our own collaboration mask. Two Buttons Deep, Stortz, mask. And he's going to pick his favorite, and the winner gets to donate to charity. Ooh. Couple questions. What's that? Does it have to be using Stewart's supplies? No. It's just a themed mask. <laughs> <laughs> what are you, you going to do? Use a hot dog bun? I don't know. I mean, that's real creativity. Jimmy's already got some swag. I mean, I don't know. Listen, I'm sure if you integrated some Stewart's product into the mask, it would be some brownie points. So here's what's going to happen. We're all, this is our assignment for the weekend. Each and every one of us, we're going to regroup on Monday. Gary's going to join us on the show and we're going to present. Uh, I, sp- I spoke with him on the phone a few hours ago. He's all in on this. We're going to present our mask to him. And he's going to pick a winner live on the Squadcast. Oh, yeah. So uh, I, I'm sure if you, if you want to get products, Taylor, I think now more than ever, we could have used the collector's item trash bag, but you threw it out because you have no heart. Jordan, what do you got to say? How? What do you mean? <laughs> like, like, what do you mean integrate? Two buds deep in Stewart's. Like, what? it's a mask. What do you put on it? Like, I don't, I don't, you want me to sew, like, take a Stewart shirt and sew, and sew together? Like, a, I don't know. Like, as soon as you said it, I was like, uh, I, I'm lost. Like, I have no out. ideas. I have You're no ideas. <laughs> out because you won the last challenge and you don't want to lose after having a great win this week. And, yep. you know, you might be a little intimidated by Jimmy over there who's already dressing the part. I think Jimmy probably already has a plan in place. Earn, not given. Yep, sure do. What's with the hair, Jimmy, by the way? Uh, yeah, so it's, it's the visor hair, I think. I don't think if you have, like, a little <laughs> pop-up here, there's nothing you can really do with that if you're wearing a visor. So sometimes you just got to let it ride. That's the point of the visor. Yeah, hell yeah. Yeah. Could All right. the visor be a mask? No, I, my, my mask is set. I'm ready to go. Really? Mm-hmm. It's going to be sick. I'm pumped. You guys out. understand the assignment? Yeah. No, but yeah. <laughs> Jordan, do you want to pass this off to someone else? I, I can do this to Sam if you don't want to do this. I mean, I'll try. Yeah. <laughs> I just don't get it, but sure. What, you, what Jordan, is there not to All get? you have to do is make your own mask. Get creative. If it has a Stewart's theme, you might do better with our president. The only concern I have is that. I have a feeling this is another challenge that Jack is just blatantly not going to want to participate in. Oh, no. I'm already halfway to the finish line. I was born for this. So you oh, okay. Start? Yeah, no, that's just, <laughs> I have an idea of what I'm going to do with my mask. And you already have a mask, so don't act like you're not one step ahead of the ball either. Next story, the all-in challenge, even though Jordan is not all-in on the first challenge. Uh, all these celebrities are coming together for raising money for Feed America. And they have these low bid 
um, auctions that are just so <laughs> unbelievable that I thought it was fake when Jordan first sent the link. I was like, there's no way all these celebrities are doing this. It's like Justin Bieber flying to your house, golf with Justin Timberlake. So uh, he threw a hypo hypothetical out to you guys of if you had a hundred bucks, and maybe we'll make this come to fruition, how are you going to spend that hundred dollars bidding on uh, the Fanatics website? Jordan, we're going to start with you. Well, there are a lot of cool things, as you mentioned, that are on there. But for me, I would say I'm just going to go 50 bucks worth to 100. Yeah, 50 bucks worth to be in Kevin Hart's next movie or and the other 50 to be uh, Ellen DeGeneres' next co-host on a show because – Quickly, why is I thought about the Drake experience going out, flying out with him, partying with him, and then going to one of his shows or, you know, golfing with Justin Timberlake or having dinner and golfing with Peyton Manning, stuff like that. But that's like an experience that's fun and cool, but it won't last long, I guess, or like make a difference. If I'm in a Kevin Hart movie, everybody's seen it. And that's something that I can always go and watch again. If I'm a Ellen DeGeneres host, best believe I'm going up there with the swag. I'm making a statement and like, I'm going to make that make a difference too. So it's not just like a one night thing. So that's my two picks. Those are solid picks. Jimmy, what are you thinking? Uh, <clears throat> I also have two picks for my first pick in this uh, all in challenge. I would like to select uh, $25 going to a walk-on role in a Scorsese film with DiCaprio and De Niro. Mm. Uh, some people might not know, but in fifth grade, I was the lead uh, role in the Peter Pan play. I had several <laughs> solos. After the uh, play, I had a couple eighth grade girls ask me for my autograph. My mom is mortified. So I would like to kind of go back <laughs> to my roots there. Yep. And then my remaining $75 goes to a Texas football experience with Matthew McConaughey. Uh, my biggest regret in life is not playing high school football. I love Friday Night Lights. This new All American show on Netflix is unreal. Uh, mm -hmm. And Matthew McConaughey, like, what a guy! Lincoln, Wild Turkeys, what my dad used to drink. Like, he just seems like a guy's guy. Get to hang out with him. All right, all right, all right. So th those would be my uh, my two picks. Proud, proud, and happy with my selections. By far, best car commercials. I don't care what oh, anyone easily, says. Easily. <laughs> Every time that happens, like, shit. I wish I had money to buy a fucking Lincoln. Yeah. <laughs> Taylor. All solid picks, guys. Um, just to recap, too, this is all going towards feeding people during the coronavirus crisis. So they've raised over $7 million. It's not just a fun thing to get a chance to hang out with celebrities while everybody's bored. I couldn't believe it was real either when Jack sent it and Jordan sent it. I was just like, what? And looking through the list, I will say there's one that jumps out at me. However, there's no ladies on there. This is like exclusively athletes and big hunks of fine Hollywood men. Like, what's up with that? What's wrong what's with Ellen? You're only one. There's just like one to hang out and go shopping with a TikTok girl. What's wrong what, with that? Which I like really thought about doing. But I, and I, Ellen. Yeah, what's and wrong Ellen. with Ellen? All right, so two people, whatever. It's not like no, taking yeah, cooking yeah, class. Right, like a majority of this is, is like, if you were like, oh yeah, uh, uh, one night date with Margot Robbie. I'm probably spending like $10,000. Yeah, but you also have to know where it's coming from. Like it's the all-in challenge from the like fanatics.com. It's it's a website that's um, the official sponsors of the NFL, NBA, MLB, NHL, so and golf. So it's like sports. So that's why. So slowly, so slowly, I think a lot more um, – females will come on to it but right good yeah, that's point where it started. Well, lucky for me there's one sports related thing i have always wanted to do and i will put a hundred dollars on it is that i want to sit courtside at a laker game with magic johnson and play a game of horse with them it's a no-brainer for me big step up I've, from the albany patroons i've talked about it on the <laughs> show before i have a dream to just sit courtside like beyonce mindy kaling any of my hollywood friends in the most baller outfit, and I would I would pay a hundred dollars for that chance. Who's if not Mindy? more. Who's Mindy? Mindy Kaling. She's she was like one of the head writers for The Office, but she has her own show. She's a big Lakers fan, and she's really cool. Was she on The Office? Yeah, she was Kelly. Oh, okay, 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 okay. Yeah, she's super cool, but she's a Lakers fan. Jack, is that what you thought I was gonna pick? No, I thought you were gonna be Ellen's co-host because you start your show saying you feel like Ellen 
every time. Yeah. But that tweet just went viral about how mean she is. And all these people were like, I'll pay $100 to your favorite charity if you tell a story about how mean Ellen is. Ellen being mean is not news. She's just not a, a nice person. And that's so okay. So why would I want to be on her show? You're the one I mean, but I feel like her. Yeah, but I don't care if somebody might be mean behind stage for a moment or a couple of times with people. Everybody is at some points, but the, the crap she does, like charities that give us stuff, I'll take it. Like, I don't care. All right. My $100. Uh, I'm giving 50 bucks to be in Jimmy Kimmel's band, even though you guys started off by saying, who would want that? I would. I love Jimmy Kimmel. He's one of the big reasons I love late night television. And he is the only show I have not seen live. I've seen everybody else live except Jimmy Kimmel. So if my first time could be, be in cool. the band, that'd be premiere. Uh, other 50 bucks, would you play? I'd play the drums. And then he'd be like, wow, he's actually pretty good at the drums. I'm sneaky good at the drums. And maybe even just like tambourine, like half drums, maybe a job offer comes out of it. Could you imagine? Percussion, just, right? Is that what it was called? Percussions? Yeah. Yeah. And if, if I could just make a living being in a house band on a late night TV show, I'd consider it. My other oh, 50 yeah. bucks is uh, following Jordan's lead. You know, how could this play out in my career? I'm not going Ellen, though. Ryan Seacrest. He's on there to be his co-host, but you're it for the entire day on every gig he has. So he does iHeartRadio National. He's got American Idol. He's got Kelly Ripa. I have a huge crush on Kelly Ripa. So if I get to do all three of those shows instead of just one Ellen like Jordan is, uh, that, you know, most bang for your buck. So that's my 50-50. And here's what we're doing. Whoever wins the mask competition with Gary is going to get 100 bucks towards whatever they wanted to do. To donate. Cool. Oh, bet. Oh, bet. I'm ready now. So now Jordan's ready. <laughs> I got the ideas now. I'm like... <laughs> Jordan's leaving right now to go work on his mask. <laughs> so just know, it's, th th it comes to fruition. This Stuart's collaboration mask could make you a celebrity with Ellen DeGeneres. So there's some pretty, right. there's some pretty funny ones on here. The one where you get to be with Alan Houston in the Knicks uh, uh, draft war room. If like you're a Knicks fan and you're hanging out with James Dolan, that would be a very interesting. Oh game. yeah, right. Like that would yeah. be so funny. One more time. So again, it's just collaborating. Two buns deep and stewards. Yeah, it, it, it can be any theme whatsoever. Okay. I, I know what I'm doing, but you can do whatever. So I think I do now. Okay. Yeah. It just has to have some element. He said he could provide Stuart's like shirts if you want, like their actual logo, but that's going to be a lot of work. So just work with what you got and uh, we'll make it happen. So next story, um, Taylor's dad post is back in the news. My dad is just putting up numbers. He is getting used to this quarantine content game. His latest post, though, I tweeted about it last night. I feel like he's getting a little cocky, but then the numbers are there. The proof is there. My tweet even continues to perform well. So this week, here's what my dad had to say on Facebook. He said, just a heads up, if you haven't cut your toenails in a while, there will be no better time than now. As most of us are getting a bit bigger staying home and eating and drinking, it becomes a lot harder. I did mine yesterday, and I had to hit my rescue inhaler in between feet. Just saying. Instantly what I thought about for those of you, I would hope every normal person has seen Dumb and Dumber, but the scene when they're like <laughs> getting <laughs> – when they're using literally like a, a sander on his toenails. Like, how bad are they? Oh, God. <laughs> so now is the time? Like, when, when's the last time you did? There are two things that make me immediately do whatever I can in my power to get all the noise out of my ears. And it's when the smoking commercials come on. And then anytime I see or hear anything about, like, untamed toenails. Just drives me nuts. Want nothing to do with it. Jimmy, you, when's the last time you cut your toenails? I literally did it a couple days ago. Really? Yeah, I, I don't know. There I you go. It was getting a little bit long, chopped them up. Uh, I have, like, weird-looking feet, so I just kind of stay away from them as much as I can. <laughs> I, I hate feet, so, uh, but, yeah, good, good for uh, for Taylor's dad. I like that. Do we want to talk about Amy Schumer? Oh, my God, what was that? I mean, she's just such a, such so, a weirdo. Uh, Amy Schumer and her, and her husband – Chris Fisher welcomed their son, Gene Attell, in May 2019. Some of the internet were quick to point out that his name sounded like genital. It's Gene Attell. Gene Attell. So they, yeah. they, they renamed the baby after a year. 
You have to. But what, how do you name your baby? They renamed the baby. They said, we realized that by accident, we named our son genital, Schumer said on our podcast. You think this is a bit? I f- There's no way this isn't a bit. That, I mean, it, she's the worst. Like, I, you write down the name before you name the kid that, and you look down, and you should be like, oh, shit, genital. Like, she's, this is absolutely a ploy. Her whole shtick is a ploy. She's like one of the fakest people on planet Earth. Mm, some truth comes out. Oh, I, I don't, I don't have a good side to her too. And um, I forget the name of it, but one movie that came out and with uh John Cena in it too, when they were like dating, but she was like bashing athletes saying that athletes don't deserve to get paid. Athletes don't deserve this. And I was like, just gripping my seat at the, <laughs> at the TV. Like, yo, <laughs> when I say as much, that's a conversation, but to not be paid at all now. So yeah, but she definitely, if that was true, you need to change a name. Everybody knows you got to make sure you go through the name checks. Does it sound nice? And how can they be bullied? And that kid would have not lived a happy life. So glad the name was changed. Wait, so was it the first name and the middle name? Yeah, but the problem so is... Don't tell people your middle name or just change the middle name. She did. So she did change the middle name, but that's where my issue is. Why would you name your kid Gene? G E N E. That is like that belongs on a sex offender list. What? I don't know. Yeah, but you got Gene Hackman. He's a beauty. Gene, right? though? That's probably the only Gene know. I know. Though. I'm with Taylor on that. There's no good news coming out of naming a new baby Gene. <laughs> baby mm. Gene. Baby. No. Uh-huh. I don't like it. I don't. It, so now the baby's middle name is David, which is actually the first name she named the baby's middle name Attell after a comedian that she's friends with, David Attell. So she went right for that guy's last name, now using the first name. And yeah, Jimmy's right. Nobody uses middle names anymore anyway. So you don't really need to tell people. But I think Jean is where she went wrong. And I definitely agree. This is totally a bit. That's just her play. And like, by the way, you're not allowed to change a baby's name. That's why I don't like when people say the name before they have the baby. Because you need as much breathing room as you can get. Once it's done, it's done. I don't like when people are like, oh, I can't wait to meet meet Tucker like when he's here and it's like what if Tucker does not look like a Tucker yeah what if he comes out looking like a a Billy or a Gene yeah Yeah. well you hope not but this is one thing that I'm not positive this is true I just heard through the grapevine that the Kardashians name their babies like two or three weeks after it's born so they can have some time with it see what it looks like and then name it and I think that's totally proper I think all babies I think you should have a one month trial period with a baby before you have to lock down a name and a gender i guess dude this is not like taking down your christmas decorations you have a kid and you name it you have what you, <laughs> yeah home. no I yeah have, i have but, two but, names picked out if I, I really like one name if it pops out not looking like that i got the backup name that's I yeah think and you get that. but you get a month to do that and i'm not saying you have to wait 30 days to choose you just get up to a month yeah, but I don't get why looking at a baby's face will get you to be like, you know what? <laughs> you look like a Tom. Like, I just don't, you know, the the face is going to completely change. Like, you don't know. And the Kardashians got, they freaking, didn't they say like uh, um, Kim's first baby? She, it was literally, oh, geez, I don't know what that was. But it's literally born in all Gucci, like everything was Gucci. Even like the nurses or somebody had to like wear Gucci, like, it was insane. Exactly. Think of, if she named her kid Gucci, they would have that sponsorship until that kid died. That kid is set for life. Not that he <laughs> wanted to be to begin with, but like all the endorsements from that. No True. Brain. Jesus, man. It's crazy. All right. Anything else, guys? Uh, yeah. I just want to point out that you don't have a month to take your Christmas decorations down. You have yeah. only until January 1st. And then they well, have to take them down and put them up. I, 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 I rephrase, put them up. I think you can put them up like December 1st is when I think they could yeah, yeah, yeah. that stuff can go up. That's kind of more or less what I was doing. But I guarantee you up. there are people out there right now that still have wreaths on their door and those people. They're the worst. You're in the middle of a quarantine. You think you'd take down a Christmas wreath? Right, exactly. It should be right, illegal. Just, just wanted to make sure we were on the same page with that. If anybody has Christmas trees up in their apartment, get out. Well, yeah. Taylor, you're, who made you the queen of relevancy? You tweeted today. Uh, that we can't make Tiger King jokes anymore. It's officially done. Yeah, and a lot of people agreed with me. That show was unbelievable. It's, it was, but it's over. We've moved on. That was like a month ago. Let's keep it moving. 
so one you know, month i don't think it's over like somebody asked trump about it the other day and i'm pretty sure he'd like about if he's gonna get pardoned he's like yeah i'll think about it yeah, yeah, but yeah that, this ain't over but that guy got shit on it's over we got to move on we're in week four of this there's new tiktoks to do every day there's new mask challenges there's new updates from the governor we got to move on we're just done so i before, am the queen of relevancy if we, anything tiktok should be done no way dude tiktok's never done uh, yeah, and the Chinese have got everything. Can you guys just let me know what you guys watch on Netflix quick? Because I just finished All American and I'm on my next one. Uh, Money Heist. Money Heist? Okay. Do that. Jack Taylor, anything? Can you write that down? I just finished Shit's Creek, but I don't think you would like that. Okay. Do you watch New Girl? I've seen New Girl, yeah. Yeah, I, that's pretty much I watched that before bed or Seinfeld, but I don't really do too much. Uh, too much. Schmidt. Oh, if you want to watch uh, Vox Explain, they have a great episode about pandemics. It'll make you feel great. No. <laughs> right. That's a squadcast.